So, um, as you can see, I'm using the equipment you were talking about on the Professional Fishing Forum. I have the same rod, I have the same reel. The line doesn't really matter, so I have the, the uh, most expensive line on it, 29 kilos. And as you were stating on the forum, um, the lure didn't really matter. So I'm using the shiny trinket silver crew here. And as you can see, I don't have uh, problems keeping that lure between the bottom and the uh, surface line on that um, reel icon. Um, which is, by the way... A good tip that I can give you if you're uh, lure fishing go to the settings and activate that reel marker that you can see on the surface of the water right now and then you can see which technique um, you have to use to reel in your line I'm using the um, stop and go technique here as you can see and that way and this is the only way to keep your lure somewhere in the middle as you can see. So I'm doing this for a second time. Um, I'm playing a little bit with the speed of my reel. Um, if I put it too slow and I want to reel in um, at with the technique continuous and slow, um, then indeed the lure sinks to the bottom. If I take a speed that is too high then you will see when I use the technique continuous and fast um, the lure will be on the surface of the water so like you were saying on the forum but the only thing you can do here to prevent that from happening is using the stop and go technique and search the right speed for the reel uh, to keep your um, your lure somewhere in the middle so here I'm changing lures just uh, to let you see that you have to use the same technique stop and go to keep that lure somewhere in between those two lines it's not that difficult to do uh, but it is the only technique you can use I don't really know if this is really um, rod and reel related but I do see now that with this rod and this reel you have to use the stop and go technique which I'm doing for every rod I'm using and every reel by the way I'm always using the stop and go technique okay um, as you can see I'm going to the settings now gameplay and in that first tab gameplay just activate everything um, when you're lure fishing that is a real help uh, you get that icon on top of the water surface and then you can actually see where the lure is between the surface line and the bottom line of the lake without this it's very hard to know which technique to use or which speed or just to know in general where your lure is regarding the bottom of the lake and the surface 